Stop pretending you can't I totally see forgot me. about this guy. You're gonna meet an NPC named Bok. He's very useful for. <sighs> Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm I'm not that ugly, am I? Uh, altering your clothes. What'd you go and do that for? Just dodge to the bush and you activate it. You can even melee attack it as well. And he reveals himself. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. You're welcome. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Sure. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right. But oh, I'm, I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm... I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. So basically, he, this guy will go around this area. There will be a cave. It's quite a difficult cave for early on, because it's full of mobs inside. And uh, we can continue with his quest line. He's quite long quest line. He helps you to alter your clothes. And I continue with farming. Oh no, the bats. Oh, good thing I managed to kill both. Same time. Good in the night. Sorry. Currently it's night time. And there is the bats gonna spawn during the night time. So it can be quite scary sometimes. And certain mobs gonna spawn night time as well. Oh. Ah, no! No, these bastards! As you may see, two of them can be quite difficult to defeat. But luckily, now it's daytime. Every time you die, like you reset everything. Hopefully I'm not gonna die to get my runes back. So every time you die, you drop your runes. If you die again without taking your runes back, you lose it permanently. So you have to be very careful. At least you have a chance to get it back. Okay, so I managed to get the full sets. Sadly, I didn't get the weapon, but I don't really want the weapon. This is how the set, the full set looks like. It's quite decent. Maybe just the gloves are not the best looking because it's a golden one. But for now, I'm gonna go with the, like this. Because I want it to be topless. And we go to the next race site while we unlock certain items from this camp uh, this camp gate front ruins i think we can always backstab this guy here don't cause any problems that and i think you're gonna get the flail weapon no Yes, or 
Morningstar. Ah, uh, Flail. Okay. Uh, this weapon requires dexterity, so no, it's not for my build. I'm mainly gonna go strength build. And there will be another one. Backstab this guy as well. Another weapon will be here. I think it's Y-Hander maybe? No, Long Sword. Great Sword. Sorry. And from here you can unlock a uh, map, but I'm gonna wait this guy to pass by. Because I don't want to trigger the other guy. I'm a bit too weak to defeat that. It does lots of blocking that with the pompadour. Trying to backstab this guy here. In here. With brass shield. Ah, it's not that shield, okay. No, that, yes. The brass shield is one of the best shields to have. Bit heavy, but it gives you 100% physical negation thing. I don't know how it works exactly. I can use it to practice parry. Can get the map. Oh, the guy triggered me. So now we can see where where you can go. Oh, this guy is coming. I hope I can defeat. Ah, because this shield doesn't have parry. Oh, how oh, dare you! Oh, oh. See a huge reach. I don't like this guy. I might die here. Technically, you can parry that attack if you time it correctly. Uh There's a stake. Uh that's not that close. Okay. Before I get the necessary the beatstone knife for the Ash of War. I need to level up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to this grace, rest, and meet Melinia. I think what she was, and that way you can unlock the torrent. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I 
offer you an accord. Okay. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Okay, so here you can accept to for her to join or not. If you play a level one soul or rune, like level one playthrough, then you refuse her. You can go like that. It's up to you. But for you to level up, you need her. If I remember correctly, I. Not entirely sure. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Okay, now we got the torrent. That way we travel much faster. Because the area is so huge. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Yeah, so with her, we can level up. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. Yeah, thank you. So I'm mainly gonna focus, like I put one to Dexter because later on I'm gonna unlock Cestus, which will be very useful. I want to get at least 20 strength. So that gives me Because later on I can equip a two-handed axe that requires 20 strength to two-handed. And also it increases my damage overall. And I do want to put all of them into Vigor. Increase my max HP. I do want to get stamina as well. Maybe, maybe for now like this. Because each point gives me one damage. Yeah. And uh, once I get more runes, I put the rest in Vigor. Later endurance around 30. It should be fine. Okay, thank you. So let's equip the torrent. I'm gonna remove this one. Place. Here and let's unlock the summons as well. You don't really need to. Well, technically, this way tarnished. May I have a word? So, technically, you don't have to use summons, but summons are useful for you for helping you out. I think I'm not gonna use it, I'll, I'll think about it because certain bosses can be difficult without summons. I can show you which one, for example. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes, I can call Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. I really like that her face is doubled, as you may see. 
So now we unlock the spirit dashes. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Okay. And then the exhauster. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? There's some lore. And after this, if you talk to this merchant, the merchant gonna tell you, like, what? Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Mm, that's all. Um, all right, I don't have enough rooms to buy all of it. I guess I'm gonna buy this one. Goodbye. Nice to do business. I think that I can talk. What is it? Yeah, you can talk. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. Yeah. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are, deeply unforgiving. As I told you before. Goodbye for now. As I told you before, if you harm them, then they harm you as well. Wait, let me equip the summon. And I equip the wolves. It can help you out in certain situations. So now down we go to the box quest. Uh, usually there is a giant down here. You could skip him. It can pose some challenges. And don't really need to be defeated. Once I get stronger, I might do it. So once you come down here, you can also notice like something shiny around here. That means there is a scarab. Invisible one, if I manage to hit it. Oh my goodness. I keep missing. Finally. So you learn the sweeping strike, which will be useful later on. Okay, I got too confident. There we go, bang. That's such an embarrassment. Just for the light flash, okay. 
So along this shore, you're gonna find a cave eventually. There will be mobs, but for example, you find these like tentacles. This can be a bit difficult to defeat. If you have fire, it's very easy to defeat them. And if you cut their tentacles, you also have to finish, also can finish them off. And as you may see, these guys spawning here. Come here. Ow. Where is the entrance? Somewhere here. Yeah. Maybe that's why you want to turn off the multiplayer if you don't want other players' messages to be seen. And let's equip that torch. It will be very dark inside. As for example, what torch you barely see. It's highly recommend to use torches. at once they'll rush in and beat you to a pulp you'll end up just like me yeah and with that you can continue with that quest but first i'm not gonna increase my weapons power and i do need to go to that this merchant i can always come back here i'm gonna grind a little bit Is that this merchant? What do you need? I don't want any trouble. You can sell items if you have duplicates, why not? You can sell those or whatever items you don't need. And here you can buy extra smithing stones. That's why it's useful to have. And I also recommend buying the bow. Because those can come in clutch, and uh, of course the armored cookbook. Well done. Well, be on your way then. I'll come back here once I have enough wounds. Alright, I totally forgot to get the beatstone here. Sorry, it's my bad. That you can kill these guys with, uh, without worrying about that guy, and you can backstab that guy as well. So here you get the wheat stone and one ashes of war, I think. Yeah, the war stone. Good. Try and kill that dude there. I right, hopefully getting my revenge. Ooh, I 
at it. Oh, we got the Godric scum plan. I guess I can do the Knight Calvary next, even though it's not really important to do. Level up. Level up. So, pass time till Nightfall. Hopefully, I can kill the Knight. Should be the direction where you first met Bok. Should be around the bridge, I remember. Wow. Uh, you have lots of. Where are you going? Come back. Let's <laughs> jump around the lock. That hurts a lot. Ow. Uh, that was a bad idea. I die here. Oh. He's not that hard unless I make such a mistakes got it oh let's get this scarab and my thing out Bastards! What the hell?
Camera. How I missed with that one. more smithing stone on the bridge i'm still gonna try to kill it uh, was there another shrine close by Technically, I could go kill those giants because I think the 200 axe drops here. I mean, in the in the wagon are the enemies. Like that, you can do a critical on them. Don't want to die. Oh, that was close, gun. Hopefully I can get the chest without triggering these guys. Yeah, I can get it very good.